Okay, let's go to From the Outside In, where each week we talk about a topic that's on ours, our listeners' minds. This week, uh, we're referring to a CNN article that questioned whether smoking on screen should trigger an R rating, which brings up an interesting topic. We all know the rating system is broken to a degree. There's been several t- several issues we've talked about in the last year. Uh, how would us hoes fix it? Who wants to go first? Justin. Fortunately, it's a bit too complicated. I mean, PG, PG-13, R, NC-17... I don't I I feel like they try and just narrow things down to too fine of a point. And then you know you get into these this whole thing of, you know, a show is PG-13 but it's because it has you know, th- you know, adult violence or some nudity, but then this other film has got um it's rating because of some other type of violence and if you can actually get a rating and then go and appeal that rating and then have that rating changed, then how really definitive is this rating anyway? That's an excellent I point. I don't know. It's just, I think if they were to just loosen things up a little bit and instead of having, you know, six or seven different types of ratings, yeah, you know, just have your basic three. Just have if your kid's under 13 – Here's a rating. If if you're under 21 or something, here's a rating. And then, I don't know, maybe that's even just it. I don't think we need this fine delineation of ratings anymore. It's kind of ridiculous. I think it could be. I would rather show, show me what, show, show me what is, I guess, as far, show me what the content is. Show me the, the, tell me what the themes are as far as excessive drug use. Strong sexual content. I don't care that it's rated R, that it's rated PG thirteen. But if I've if I've got an idea of what to expect, then I can kind of make my own assumptions from there. I think it really can be a lot more binary than than the than the different layers they're doing now. Make a list of movies with a rating like a G rated movie that is completely not going to be offensive to any children or parents for their children to see. And then if it's something that's not that's not for kids, then like Brian said, list it out. Like they do on HBO when you watch a TV on HBO, you see right before right. the movie starts graphic nudity, you know, violence, all this kind of stuff. Why and, and part of the problem is is that different people have different varying degrees of what they have a problem with. You go overseas and nudity is on regular TV. Or is that, I don't know if that's actually true or not, but I get – like nudity is widely more – much more accepted in Europe than it is here. Over here, violence is completely fine. You, but you show a booby on, on, on screen and then there's a big <laughs> Did you problem. you just say booby? Yes. <laughs> booby. <laughs> He's like 12, man. That, that – I mean that's a whole other discussion, but that's why I think having the individual listings of what the content is on there lets the parent decide – you know, if you're talking for the children, let the parent decide if it's something that they should be seeing. The parents should be, if they're that worried about it, should be watching the movie first before their kid does anyway. You know what? No, one thing that really bothers me is NC-17. That That's a big one. Okay. Nothing pornographic can really be an NC-17, but you can have extreme sexual encounters. Why wouldn't that just be R? I mean, basically R is restricted. A parent has to be there supposedly to get you in to begin with. What's the difference between an R rating and an NC-17? If you're a parent, it seems like uh, you can let your kids watch porn at home if you choose to. What's the difference? I don't understand. It's really that, the, the parent's well, job. And, and that whole system is antiquated anyway. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, in this day and time where you can, you know, download free porn, all this other stuff. I mean, really, I mean, how, how many parents are really getting their kids into a an R-rated movie or an NC-17 movie? I mean, it's so easy for these kids. Nobody's ch- – I, yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe the theaters in y'all's area are doing that. But I guess unless you look 12, walking in there saying, hey, I want to see Caligula, <laughs> you know, I, they'll, they'll probably, you know, they'll probably turn you away. But if, if, you, if you're looking halfway 18, then they're not going – they're going to take your money. In this day and time, they're going to take your money. They don't care. And there's nobody policing it anyway. So just forget this – you have to have a, an adult, you're a parent or a guardian to, to get you in. Just get have maybe like say two or three, two or three ratings is a good idea. Just so you know, generally speaking, is it a kid's movie? Is it a, an adult movie or is this something that really needs to be, uh, I guess 
Stolen off the internet. Just filtered. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like Fifty Shades of Grey or something. Well, <laughs> apparently that one's <laughs> – that's going to go all the way. Um, I, I just think the ratings board is, is very biased. It seems like um, an act of sex will get you an R rating, right? But apparently obscene language where you're just discussing sex, which honestly, I mean, who of us don't have friends that do this? You know what I mean? Um, that can get you an NC-17. That makes no sense to me. Showing a visual representation of sex seems to me like it would be a more extreme measure than talking about it. If I want to talk about, you know, <clears throat> horrible things being done sexually or violent or anything else, that shouldn't take precedence over actually seeing that. You know what I mean? Does that Let's make sense? Talk to you guys? about sex, baby. You could take Let's the same. You could take the same token with violence. You you talk about ripping somebody's head off, or you actually visually see ripping somebody's head off. You know. Is that is that as big a deal? Mm-hmm. I mean, I, well, I think the, the fact that a certain number of f bombs will get you this rating, but you can get away with one or two. What the fuck is that about? What makes, that makes five no fucks worse than one fuck? No, well, and, depends I would, on who's, yeah, I'd agree with that. And then I, w- I will be honest with you. It seems to me that if PG thirteen has just has just crossed the line, it's it's borderline R at this point for mm-hmm. what R used to be. Um, you know, the PG thirteen rating was 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 created because of Gremlins and Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom because they had such extreme violence in those films. It was created for the violence, right? Mm-hmm. So that's been standing the test of time for quite some some time. But it seems like every year it's pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. And that seems to be that the ratings board, because these are mega blockbuster, these a lot of these comic book action uh, films, and like Dark Knight is a, is a good example. That was a pretty dark, you know, I'm sorry to steal that, dark film and it got a pg-13 a lot of people at the time thought that should be rated r in england actually there was a huge controversy because of how that was rated you know okay for families when it should have been rated restricted um but it seems like violence is always okay sex always bad violence okay it's okay to have a natural and granted i'm not saying these relationships are all natural but having the act of procreation on screen but shooting someone in the face or, or blowing up Maggie Gyllenhaal, because that happens in The Dark Knight, Scott. Um, that's bad. I, I don't, or that's okay. I, I don't understand how they can take these two extremes and just basically flip a coin and decide which one is PG-13 and which ones are. Because there's really no language that says if this particular action happens, it's a PG-13. If well, this particular language happens, it's a it's an R. Well, part of uh, yeah, part of that problem is you got the classification and rating administration that deals with this stuff. They're they're very similar to Congress. These fuckers don't go anywhere. You know, there's no turnover. The head's been a member. The head of it is has been a member for 24 years, and she's been leading it for the last 12. You know, get some turnover in there. More input from kind of a cross section of people. Every from actors, directors, writers, moms, dads, teenagers. I don't. You know, teachers. I don't. I don't care. Just get a some kind of a cross section. Maybe send out surveys. Find some. You know, find a whoever just to a whole cross section of people, and say and kind of find out what a general consensus is, and then kind of go from there. Revisit it every. I don't know five years or whatever. But I just think that there they there needs to be some kind of turnover in there because you've got these these older people up there that are really kind of out of touch with. What, I guess, you know, the rest of the world is thinking. Yeah, I, I see action on television that warrants an R rating. I mean, if you watch Sons of Anarchy, uh, Justified, pretty much anything on FX, I think, um, or, or a lot of the other cable television shows, there are just as much dark violence on there as you'll find in a rated R film or a PG-13 film. It really just depends. But there's a lot of violence that they would classify as an R rating. It doesn't deserve it. Yeah, I mean, remember when when Michael Schofield got killed? <laughs> God damn, that was awful. I think what's but more this... sad about the rating system is how that's become pivotal on on sales numbers. We we talked about this before, where a movie that's going to yeah, get an R true. rating is not going to sell as well as a PG thirteen movie, and, and I and I can't help but wonder how much of the politics of that are affecting these ratings. That's why I think doing a more simple rating system, like Brian was saying, either a two level or a three level. You know, I was saying that, but you know, whatever. Well, you know, you I guys... just made it sound better, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I and that... we can go, you know, but just we can, you know, we can discuss that further on the the Hollywood Outcast. That's right. <laughs> That's funny. 
I don't know. I just personally, I get really uh, kind of twitchy when it comes to these sorts of things because it's all uh, a personal preference. I mean, you could label something excessively violent, but excessively violent in whose opinion? My opinion of excessive violence or excessive nudity or whatever is going to be much different than yours. So even just creating these labels and using them implies value that not everybody is going to share. And it's it's a difficult thing, I think, to try and say what's in a film that you should be maybe cautious about when not everybody's going to view those same things the same way. I mean, when I was a kid, my parents had no problem showing me Conan the Barbarian or letting me go see Porky's um, because they knew I was a fairly smart kid and I could handle it. And not every kid, unfortunately, is as smart as I am. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're, wow. You're, that's very Justin McCumber of you. See how it turned that into a compliment on myself? You yeah. know what? I am so proud of your modesty and how far it's come <laughs> since we <laughs> started a year ago. Thank you. Yeah, I hope you properly stretched that arm out from you know before you patted yourself on the back. I, I um, do. I stretch. Yeah. Beyonce good, called. Good, yo- she wants her attitude back. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's obviously it's something that we all talk about. We all discuss it week in week out. You know, there's always something where it seems to come up. At what point do you think people are going to say this antiquated system that is not really working unless you happen to be a a large proponent of the system itself, you know, like a Universal or Paramount or or, um, um, Warner Brothers or something like that? At what point do you think they're going to address the system and say, you know what, it needs to be overhauled? We aren't in touch with what's going on currently. Right. Television is kicking our ass with with restrictions and stuff like that, and what should be what how things should be rated properly and whatnot. At what point do you think they're going to address that? I don't think they're going to, and I think that if they ever actually did, it would be to make it even more definitive, more restrictive. I think liberal types aren't prone to bitching about the ratings board, whereas those who are much more conservatively minded and hate. You know, if a movie's got a little bit of skin or some violence or some uh, foul language that are you know slipping into the movies that they think should have been rated, you know, worse, I think that's the segment of our populace that's going to be more vocal and calling for action. So I don't ever see it changing, and if it does, I don't see it for the better. I think the bigger question is when are the parents going to start taking responsibility instead of leaving it on the shoulders of some other entity that's going to be putting in a rating on it that may or may yeah, not parents readers. don't raise their yeah they don't raise their kids anymore it's you know they let the schools raise them they let everybody else be responsible for them except their own selves are we all looking at aaron right now yep <laughs> fuck you reader <laughs> well you know he's betting 500 so. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's funny i got nothing more to add okay me not, either no I'm not allowed to talk about children for at least no, at, you're not at least twenty <laughs> to twenty four episodes. I think and is that what just, the court said? Yeah, that's what, that's what the restriction was. And within fifty right. feet of a school. Yeah, can be within. 50 yeah, feet that of added a about fifteen twenty minutes to his commute in the mornings. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to get a whole new van. Oh shit! So <laughs> get windows in this one. Lot, lots of windows. <laughs> okay. Anything more before we wrap up? No, I think we're good. Uh, okay. All right, well, if you guys have any more for uh, any tidbits you want to throw at us for how you think the ratings board could change things, send us uh, send us an email, feedback at com. 